Hi, my name is Ethan Wilcox, and I am a seminarian for our diocese. And um, this is my first year as a seminarian. I've spent uh, the fall and most of the spring semester at um, Immaculate Heart of Mary Seminary in Winona, Minnesota. And now I'm home self-isolating in my house in Quinnesec, Michigan. Um, so I have a little reflection for you today. And I was looking through morning prayer um, for today. And uh, in the closing prayer, um, the, uh, the text of the closing prayer really kind of jumped out at me. So I'm going to read that for, for you all. Father, by this Easter mystery, you touch our lives with the healing power of your love. You have given us the freedom of the sons of God. May we who now celebrate your gift find joy in it forever in heaven. Um, so what's, what's stuck, what, what really struck me in this, in this prayer is um, the, the beginning part of the prayer where it says, you touch our lives with the healing power of your love. At every moment, the Lord is, is touching our lives with his healing power. He wants to love us in every single moment. Um, this moment right now, where you're sitting at home, uh, scrolling through Facebook, uh, the Lord is, is loving you, and, and he's pouring out his heart um, for you. And um, then it moves on to say, you have given us the freedom of the sons of God. Um, we are uh, sons of God, um, sons and daughters of the Lord. Um, we are, you know, anointed with the Holy Spirit. Um, and so we, we should uh, live um, in, in that love of, of the Lord, of being sons and daughters of God. Um, and then it moves on to say, May we who now celebrate your gift find joy in it forever in heaven. And so we celebrate the gift of the resurrection, um, right? Because we're sons and daughters of the Lord, and we are loved, and, and Jesus rose from the dead for us. He suffered and died from us, and then rose from the dead. And so um, it says, may we find joy in it forever. Um, and, and I think that's something that many people are struggling with, especially during this time uh, with the coronavirus and, and having to self-isolate. It's, it's hard to... Um, find joy sometimes we can get a little um upset uh kind of hmm, i don't want to be here right now um i know i know i get that i get like that um getting stuck inside you get a little claustrophobic from time to time but um what i would like to invite everyone to do is to live in that joy of being a son and a son or daughter of 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 god um to know that you are anointed by the Holy Spirit and that at every moment the Lord is pouring his heart out for you and loving you and that we can live in that joy and in that peace and that uh, even though we're in this situation that, you know, no one really wants to be in, we can still find joy and, and, ins and inspiration and, and love and even being at home, uh, be just as joyful as if we were um, celebrating Easter um, with, with everyone else at church or um you know just living our daily lives um, so i think this is a good a good chance to to reflect and and to to realize that no matter where you are the lord loves you and he's pouring his heart out entirely to to you as as a as a beloved child of god and that he wants us to live in that joy and to, and to celebrate with him that gift that he's given us the gift of his resurrection uh, during this easter season so yeah, uh, you are all in my prayers, and um, I'd like to invite everyone just to, to choose joy um, this Easter season as we uh, are getting ready for Divine Mercy Sunday. So um, God bless you all, and you're all in my prayers, and I hope you all have a great day.